Hello my dear beautiful bastards and better, dear glorious lord and welcome to Human Resource Machine from the creators of Little Inferno and from partially the developers of World of Goo we bring to you Human Resource Machine. This is a puzzle game where you program stuff. So if you're a programmer then this game is probably going to be either easy for you or easy but fun, you know, that combination. But if you're not a programmer, then you will probably need a while to solve the puzzles. And we are going to go into it. Uh, okay, yes. Please select your employee ID. See, this is where I started. And I didn't do anything, so I'm going to go do it again. You start in year one in the mailroom. You do very simple puzzles. Welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. Remember, you can always ask me for help. Drag commands into this area to build a program. Your program should tell you, your worker, to grab each thing from the inbox and drop it into the outbox. So basically here is where you program stuff and here is uh, the interface of what you need to program. So the game is kind of teaching you how to program for real. I think at least. <laughs> and this is what I uh, thought of, and this should be right, see? He goes from the inbox, carries shit to the outbox, and does that th three times in a row, and that should be it. This should be the program. Is it? Yay! See? The same, the same style as Little Inferno. It's so cool because I love this Little Inferno style. It's just, it's beautiful, isn't it? Busy mailroom. Let's see, year number two. <laughs> well, it looks like you've made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Most people stress out and quit before making it this far. But I can tell you, you have a bright future in inbox outbox management. Here's your new assignment. Grab each thing from the inbox and drop each one into the outbox. You got a new command. You can drag jumps arrow to jump to different lines within your program. So wait, if I go into the inbox and outbox, so wait, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, jump creates loops. I see, so what if I do the jump? Aha, aha, see, see this? I think this is it. Jump, this is like a, like a loop. Because I did program a bit in college and in my spare time. Slide to work faster. Oh, this is very cool. You can work faster as well. See, isn't it awesome? I did program a bit, so I do have some logic of programming in my mind, so it might not be very difficult for me. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Next floor. Elevator, yes. Copy floor. Let's see, year three. I'm gonna have to start copying stuff. <laughs> oh no, the inbox conveyor system is completely broken, but that doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. Obviously. Ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. Bug. The facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you, if only there were a way for you to pick them up. So copy from, if I select B, copy from B, and then the outbox, and then copy from U, outbox, copy from G, outbox. Is that it? Let's see. Bug? Yes, it sh that should be it. Haha, <laughs> nice. This is actually fun. This is fucking fun. This is what programming should be about. This is how uh, professors should teach students to program. And not that bullshit uh, ad in the black screen, you know, command prompt stuff. Who, who likes... nobody likes that. Continue to elevator. Scrambler handler. Scrambler handler. Nice name, I like it. The conveyor system is fixed, just in time for you to get to work. The data won't collate itself. Grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. So first things first, inbox. When he goes to the inbox, he picks up three. And after the inbox, he should copy here. And after that, He's going to go to the inbox again. He's going to take the second one. And then copy two over here. Right? And then he's going to copy from this... Uh, wait, in reverse order. Copy from number two. And then outbox. And then copy from the first one. 
and go to the auto box and then jump to the start. Right? Is this it? Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully this is going to be right. This is the copy. Copy from number nine, number three. And then he's going to take this. Yes, I think this is right. This should be correct. Let's see. Oh, I understand this. Is it right? It should be correct. Yay! So cool. I love this. Smarter than I thought I was. Coffee time. Let's do it. Year number five. Give it to me. Oh, what is this? Story. Story time with the ladies. Mm. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> What the hell was that? <laughs> Coffee time. Rainy summer, let's see. Year number six. Uh, welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math, since I have only three fingers on each hand. But I hear you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. For each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. You get a new command, it adds the contents of a tile on the floor, to whatever value you're currently holding. So we go into the inbox and then we go to copy to the first one, then again to the inbox, copy to the second one, and then add into the third one, and then outbox, and then jump to the start. Right? I'm not sure. So inbox. Uh, empty value, you can't add with an empty tile on the floor. Oh, oh shit, I fucked up. Okay. So add, the result goes back into your hands. Ah, I see, I see. So, wait a second, no, this is wrong. I'm doing things wrongly. So can I cancel this? Okay, let's cancel everything and let's do it again. Let's do it again from the start. Okay, this is getting a little bit more complicated now. So, we first go to the inbox. We pick up number 5. And then, we copy number 5 to the first one. And then we go back to the inbox, we collect the second one, and then we copy that one to the same box, and then... No, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong. We add to the same box, right? And then it goes back to our hands. So when it's in our hands, it goes to the out box. And then we jump. Is this good? Oh man, I don't know, let's see. It goes in. Takes the second one, then it adds up, goes into the hand, and goes to the outbox. Nice, number 10 again. Oh, nice, I think I'm doing it. Doing it, oh baby. Yes, baby, I did it. It took a little bit of time, but we did it properly. I'm very satisfied with this. Your presence is requested on the next floor. Okay, so now we choose. Either this one or this one. I kind of want to go here. I mean, I want to continue with the same colors. But wait, what if I go here? Yeah, let's let's finish these ones. Let's finish these ones. Year number eight. Tripler room. Who are you? This optional area is for high-performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven years late. We need to make some changes around here. I want to see a 100% performance rate. From this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. For each thing in the inbox, triple it and outbox the result. For each thing in the inbox, triple it. So we go to the inbox, we collect number three, and then we go copy to the first one. Can I add then add twice? Because I would like to add twice, twice, add, add twice. Fuck, what am I saying? Add, add twice. <laughs> and then it goes into the hand, and then it goes to the inbox. Yes, yes, let's, let's check it out. It might work goes once and then it goes twice and then it goes to the outbox this should be correct correct nice zero plus plus zero plus zero equals zero very correct i did it i did it oh what the hell is this use six or fewer commands 24 or fewer steps nice i did it i did it all oh, good Let's do this one as well. Oh, nice. Year 10. 
Yes, you can always check your own performance on each assignment's optimization challenges. The two green lights next to each button in the elevator will tell you how you're doing. Is there anything in life more thrilling than self-improvement? Yes, yes there is. Eating cabbage. I love eating cabbage. Do I? I don't think I do. I haven't eaten cabbage in a long time. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 8 and put the result in the outbox. Using a bunch of add commands is easy, but wasteful. Can you do it using only three add commands? So we go to the inbox and then we copy that to the first one, right? Copy that to the first one and then add once. So add once, add again and add one more time. So that's three. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. So add three times. And if I add the jump command here and tell it to go back up, how do I skip it once I'm done? Eight times. That's the problem. I don't know how to skip it eight times. See, I don't know how to skip this shit. How do I stop the jump? In programming, to stop the jump, you need the break, I think, at least. The break. Once you add the break, it stops and it carries on. Something like that, I think. But how do I break it here? I need to change the design. This design is not right. I know! I know, copy two again, but copy it here, and then copy two again, but here. So, one, two, three, if I do it four and five, wait a second, is that gonna be good? Four and five, then one, two, three, four, okay, four. Copy two four times, and then if I add it four times, then I'm going to be breaking the rule. But I don't think I can do much about that because this is how I can do it with four ads and four copy twos but how do I wait I don't know what I'm doing I have no idea what I'm doing let's let me check so one two jump oh he's jumping into itself shit that's not right what if I do this this is not right because this jump is completely useless so how the hell do I jump how the hell do I jump out of it Oh, this is how I jump out of it. Oh, you silly bastard. But wait, how am I going to jump out of it? Oh my god. I have to do this without using the jump command. Because using the jump command fucks everything up. So if I add it, it stays in my hand. But what if I do then copy from? Copy from. And then add again. Or maybe copy from twice. Let's, let me see what, what happens then. What happens if I do this? No, 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 it goes copy from. This is not good. I can't do it with three add commands. I don't know how. I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm not that smart. I'm sorry. Oh, bad outbox. 56 and I outboxed 35. Really? Do I need to add more? What the hell is this shit? If I remove the copy tools and then add the ads. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is correct. But see, I don't know how to go out of the loop. That's the problem. I have no idea how to get out of the loop. Unfortunate. Oh well, I did not do it properly, but it is what it is. Tetra Contiplier. If Markiplier plays this game, he's going to love this. <laughs> what a wonderful feeling when all your work over the last few years all comes together and culminates in a well-executed assignment. For each thing in the inbox, multiply it by 40 and put the result in the outbox. Really? How the shit am I gonna do that? No, I'm sorry, I don't know how to do this. Tetra Contiplier, I have no idea how the hell am I gonna do this one. So, I'm just gonna skip this one and we're going to continue with the with the Zero Exterminator. I'm sorry, I don't know how to do that. Oh well, where did you see yourself in five years? Or ten years? I have a note here from your other boss that says, from this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. What a treat. <laughs> Send all things that are not Zero to the outbox. You got a new command. It jumps only if the value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. So we go to the inbox. When we pick up number four, we send it to the outbox, but we jump if it's zero, and then we go to the outbox, right? See, I need that jump if thing or some kind of a break to do those loops before. I don't know how to do that without those those commands. Is this gonna be good? Jump if zero. So inbox, he picks it up and he carries it out into the outbox. 
but if it's zero, then it goes away. Is this, is this good? Oh, wait, 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 I need another loop. Jump back on the start. There, there, this is right. There, now it carries it over. Jump if zero, see, he throws it away, and then he carries it there. There you go. Very simple. Very, very simple. Much better. <laughs> Just holding it there. Year 7 completed. Use 4 or fewer commands. I did it. I did all of it. All of it! Zero preservation initiative. Let's do it. Year number 9. It has come to our attention that the Zero Advocacy community felt the previous assignment was not inclusive. This time sent only the zeros to the outbox. What happens to the other numbers and letters? Management leaves that detail up to you. Send only the zeros in the outbox. So, inbox. So he goes into the inbox, he takes number 6, and then he needs to throw number 6 away because it's not a zero. So jump if zero to the outbox. Wait, what is this? Am I doing this correctly? No, 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 don't send it to the outbox. You need to send it away, somewhere away. How do I do that? Ah, so inbox, and then I do it copy two. Copy two over here, copy to the first one. Is this good? I think this should be good. He copies it here. No, 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 don't send it to the outbox, just copy it. Okay, okay, wait. Copy two, and then jump back. Right, Th this is right. Okay, let's see. Let's see. There, and then throw it away, and then this one goes to the outbox. Yes, I did it. I did it! I did it, see? Three jumps are necessary to do this one. I love it. I love it, my friend. Oh, I feel competent. I feel competent when I play this game. I don't know how do you feel about this game, but I feel extremely competent and this is very fun for me. Finally, programming is fun for me. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, finally. Oh, I fucked up. Didn't get the special rewards. Oh well. Sub hallway. Year 11. Subtraction? I never learned that in school. Did you? We're on a good team. <laughs> We're a good team. We're a good team. For each two things in the inbox, first subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox, and then subtract the second from the first and put the result in the outbox. Repeat. You got new command, subtract the contents from a tile on the floor from whatever value you're currently holding. This shouldn't be too difficult, I just need to, you know, uh, align my mind properly. So we go to the inbox first, we carry the stuff from the inbox, and then we copy from the inbox to the first one, then we go back to the inbox, take the second thing, then we put the second thing in the second one, so number two is here, so the first thing that we need to do is... No, not copy from, copy to, you stupid idiot, copy to, and then copy to to the number one. So once they are copied here, then I need to take number one, so copy from number one, and then subtract from number two, and then carry it to the outbox, and then copy from number one, and subtract... No, no, it's vice versa. It's vice versa. This is one, and this is zero. And then send it to the outbox, and then jump to the start. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see if this works. So first one goes here, second one goes here. Then he takes this one, and he subtracts them, and sends them here. No. Oh, vice versa. Okay, it's vice versa. Okay, because I don't know that shit. I'm sorry, I don't know that shit. So, copy from 1 to 0, and this is 0 to 1. Right? Let's see. This one goes here, this one goes here, and then he takes this one, he subtracts, right? Should be correct. This also should be correct. I think... Yes, we did it. We did it! Yes! Yes! Oh, so good. I feel so good, man. I feel so good. 10 or fewer commands. I used 11. Motherfuckers. Speed challenge. Motherfuckers. I didn't do it. Oh, doesn't matter. I'm going to pause it here on year 11. So thank you very much for watching. 
My dear beautiful bastards, I hope you are enjoying this game because it's very fun. Holy shit, I'm enjoying it more than I should, I think. <laughs> I'm enjoying it very much. So let me know what you think about it. And I will be making more videos of this game because I like it very much. So I will be playing it more. And uh, I will see you next time.